going to review the Fuel 3D Scanify. It's a 3D camera that makes a model with just one photo. You can also take multiple photos of a subject and the enclosed software will stitch them all together. So let's see how well all that works. The scanner comes with three targets. You place a target near or on the subject so the scanner software can hone in on it. The instructional PDF links to an STL file at a website called Sketchfab that you have to register and log into to download. The PDF says there are files for both the handheld and the freestanding holder but I could only find a file for the handheld one. Without a freestanding holder, it's very difficult to prop up a target off the subject. And you want to prop it up off the subject, not on it, because during the scan, if it's on it, the target will block out that portion of the subject behind it. This is a point-and-shoot device that scans subjects that are up to 11 by 8 and a half inches. It's tethered to a power source and to the computer, so you've got two cords that are attached to it. Realistically, this means you can only take one photo of the subject because you have to see the viewfinder at all times, which is on the screen. In order to move around the subject for multiple photos, you're going to need to buy a holder that Scanify sells and equip it with a tablet computer, battery pack, and cables all bought elsewhere, and that will fit into the holder. Scanify has a stereo camera lens system with two sensors and three lights. You open the viewfinder with Fuel 3D Studio software that you download from the site. Then you manipulate the scanner until you see a green circle around the target. Then either click a button on the camera's handle or click Capture on the screen. Click the scan you want to save. The scan will be saved and the lights need to cool off a bit. You can delete a scan and you can click Viewfinder to start a new scan. Now I want to export that scan, so I'll click on Save. I can save it as an STL, OBJ, or PLY. Here I'm saving it as an OBJ. Then I'll import it into Mesh Mixer. I did have some issues with this software. It initially crashed my computer and the drivers interfered with my Camtasia recording software. It can also be hard to get that green circle to appear. I guess it just takes practice and optimal lighting conditions. When it imports into Mesh Mixer, it's very high resolution. You can see this incredibly dense mesh. But Mesh Mixer is able to handle it, and I decimated it. The Fuel 3D Studio software that I used earlier is free. However, you can buy two other packages, and they're both yearly subscriptions. However, the free one will let you export in the 3D printing formats that you need. It will also stitch together multiple files and it gives you access to Fuel's cloud server where you can also stitch your photos. So overall, I think this is a nice little camera. It is fussy though and it does take a learning curve and a lot of getting used to.